What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. We had a slight issue in the programming. Uh, today is day five of thrifting Goodwill seven days in a row at the same time to see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. But I wasn't able to go yesterday, so I missed a day in a row. Today's Saturday, should have been Friday. Um, we had some family stuff come up and I just could not make it to Goodwill. So uh, I'm not gonna lie on here and say I went when I didn't. Uh, so. We'll see what happens today, but you know what? It's been an extra day. Hopefully, you know, we weren't really finding stuff the past two days, so hopefully I find some better stuff this time. Let's go. All right, guys, we just got here and it is busy today. There are cars pulling up everywhere. The parking lot is packed. It's only 11 o'clock, so I'm surprised it's this busy already. Let's run inside and see what we can find. There we go. I probably shouldn't have pulled up right here because there's a tree. Uh, it should be okay. Nice little Christmas display. That's new, that's why they emptied out these. To build a Christmas display, that makes sense. All right, oh, this is a loud cart. All right, let's see what's down here. I looked at the DVDs real quick and I didn't see anything new there. Uh, it has been two days since I've been here, so you never know, but you never know. Sometimes they just don't put some stuff out for a day. Oh, well, this is different. They've actually extended the VHS tape section out. I'm always looking for cool sealed things, but I have yet to really find anything that's cool and sealed. Um, nothing amazing anyways. And that's what I'm checking right now. So I think these are all old, so they must have moved some of the new ones in here. Or maybe they just took out because they were two stacks deep. They might have just taken that out. So I am not seeing anything interesting here. I also look, like to look for uh, VHS tape cleaners. Those things can be really good. So definitely keep an eye out for those. I will, uh, you know, definitely pop that up on the screen for you guys, but VHS tape cleaners sell amazingly and I've sold a bunch in the past. Obviously blank VHS tapes and things like that too, but uh, those have kind of gone down in value as of late, so I'm not seeing anything there. Um, I found a better cart, so we'll take this one and we'll leave my other one. We'll like exchange. Oh no, wait, this one squeaks really bad. Oh, the carts here are so bad. We'll leave that. This guy's cute. Slide him over so people can get by, and I'll take my bad cart. So the other day I was here, guys, I found a Burton snowboard, and I found another. This one's 15. The other one had a big crack in the middle of it. It would have been worth money. This one is really small, so it's more for like a little kid. The bindings are in really rough, really rough shape. They're kind of yellowed. Yeah, they're, they're pretty disgusting. So I'm gonna leave that behind. $15 is too high for such a small one. Roller blades. These are cool. Bravo Blade GLX. It's actual roller blade brand, which is nice. These are clean besides a little bit of stuff in there. How much are these? I have to find the other one before I even think about it. Ooh, punching bag. Oh, here it is. So I'm assuming that's the liner right there. Here's the other blade. I mean, these are pretty sweet. But there's the price, uh, $15. We are gonna try to look it up in a minute. Uh, we also have a really cool golf bag right here OGIO is that it looks like the body glove logo but that's really nice all right so these rollerblades right here you could take a look and see I typed in the exact model only a few have sold as of recently and uh, prices aren't great I mean they're not bad but you can see a best offer was taken best offer was taken not going to be worth it at $15 so they were like a couple bucks I grab them I thought they'd be a little bit better but definitely keep an eye out for rollerblade branding now I'm going to pop this up on the screen for you guys as well you could see these rollerblades have the four wheels and the brake stop if you find aggressive rollerblades they'll have the four wheels but they'll have like little grinding pegs they won't have a brake here and they'll have a little dip underneath the uh in between the four wheels I actually own two pairs of them and they are expensive. I had to buy one pair off of a website for like $250. Then I found another pair, of course, like three weeks later at a tag sale. So keep an eye out for those. They're worth good money. These hit or miss. Uh, let's look at this golf bag. I never sold golf bags. $15 also, which seems a little high, but uh, you never know. Unifier uh, or Uniter. I don't know what that says. An OGO. Let's see. 
Also, right after I said unifier or uniter, I realized uniter. That makes sense. <laughs> so I got that wrong, but I noticed, I think that's a rip right there. So, oh no, that's a umbrella containment. Okay, so that's supposed to be like that. That's cool. Uh, I typed it in and take a look at these prices. Prices are actually looking pretty good. Now, how much does it cost to ship something like this? That's the real question. Could be, if it's going, I live in Connecticut, so if it's going to California, I mean, <laughs> it could be as high as 30, 40, $50, right? Uh, if it's going right down, you know, a couple states away, New York is my go-to. I love when things go there and uh, could cost me 15 bucks. So that is the risk that you take, but I don't see any with this design on it. It's kind of a cool design. Here, I'm gonna pull it out and stand it up. That is a cool looking golf bag. It's actually really clean, like really clean. Do I buy it and uh, list it? I mean, there's a little bit of wear right in here. You can see that. Yeah, on both sides, it's a little scuffed up. I don't know. Let's open it up. Oh, so a couple golf gloves in there. Piece of paper, more tees. Maybe we'll find some money in here. Wait, a rain check from 2014. Good for one nine round hole golf at Greenwood's Golf Course. Maybe I could take this and go play a round of golf. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take that, that that's fun. Um, or, is it, or is that technically stealing since it came out of this? I don't know, maybe I should just buy it and then I could get a free round of golf. That, that costs more than $15. I don't know if they'll honor it from 2014. <laughs> they might. Let's see what's in this side. Oh my gosh, another golf glove, FJ. So this looks small and it's yellow, so this must be a women's bag at that point, I would imagine. What's in here? Can of off, uh, golf ball, more tees, another breast cancer golf ball. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's any extras in here that'll make it worth it for certain. Another can of off. <laughs> I guess, you know, you don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. It's in here. Another golf glove? What is this? Another FJ golf glove. Bunch of balls. Ooh. A little coin purse. This is interesting. Hold on. A bunch of um, little markers for putting. Some plastic tees. Let's see if I can just shake everything out. Here's some cool little markers that we have there. Fairview Farm Golf Course. American flag, STX, a little one from China, a little pencil. Okay, it's neat. What else do we have in here? Hand sanitizer, bunch of golf balls, a pin. Oh, it was a woman's. I knew it. Janet Kaufman. I almost stabbed myself on that. Let's close that up. There's a couple more pockets. I think I'm just going to buy it. There's a lot of cool extras in here that make it worth 15 bucks. Okay, guys. So we got the golf bag. It's cool. I'm debating on this punching bag, $15. I mean, that seems like a good deal. It already has the hardware attached, has the chains. A punching bag for $15? Do you think I could sell it for 50 locally? I don't know, what's this? Fisher Price, that's kind of a cool lunchbox. And I see a football grill. Guys, I am all over the place right now. Hey, another golf bag. Oh, this one has a bunch of stuff in it too. Oh, it even has some clubs in it. Taylor made this one's in way rougher shape. I'm gonna leave that one, but uh, do I get that? I'm gonna take a look at the local market on Facebook and see how many punching bags are listed. That's a good way to uh, gauge interest and see, you know, if there's only one listed, well, I have a good shot of listing mine and getting a sale. If there's 20 listed with prices all the way down to $20, well then uh, not so good. So. I'm gonna pull up Facebook Marketplace and type in punching bag. Okay, I just switched it to local only. Uh, $15 right there in Torrington, 25. Okay, so they actually don't go for that much. So not even worth it at 15. I thought this would be like 50 easily, but I guess not. All right, just found another sporting good type thing. We have a soccer sack for $5 from Franklin, brand new. I scanned it in and take a look at this loveliness right here. Decent rank in sports, 20 bucks. Uh, 13 minus my $5, so what is that, like eight bucks or so that we'll make? Not bad, I will take it. Now we are looking in the electronics aisle, which 
I love the electronics aisle, but I have struck out all week in this aisle. Nothing cool has come in, or nothing for a good price anyways. Let's see, what do we have here? An Onkyo six disc thing. This might be good. <laughs> this is new, this wasn't here before. Oh, what's the price, $8. Uh, oh, you know what? Type in the model number and see what we got. So I just typed in the model number and what? There we go, it's the Onkyo DX390. Great rank, good reviews. New 700 used 272. Holy cow guys, okay, $6 purchase, that is going in the cart. Wow, I've struck out literally every single day here and we found something, okay, we found something good. I gotta make some room in my crazy cart and stick that in there. Now I just lifted it from here, stuck it in there and I looked up and I see another, this one's a Sony and it's only a five disc changer but I have sold these in the past. Now the CE375 is the model number and I believe that's the one I've sold before. We're gonna look it up but I think it's worth like at least a hundred, uh, eight dollars on this one as well. So let's look it up and see what we got. All right, so here is the disc changer. We looked it up and it has even a better rank $208 brand new going for a thousand which is crazy the only thing is I'm gonna have to buy a remote for this and this on eBay but that's okay because prices are so good that you know if this was $25 I probably wouldn't do it but at eight dollars it's worth it because the remote could cost $25 right um, I'll definitely take that so we'll stick that in the card as well and so far we're at 200 300 400 500 ish you know this possibly 600 so this is a pretty crazy score so far very happy let's try and get it to a thousand dollars in sales oh we have a Rolodex an electronic one this is cool let's look that up also all right so it wasn't coming up via the UPC so I did end up typing it in and uh, two have sold, $20 and $20, so not bad. Um, this has the box and everything, so let's see what they want for it. $5. Ah, I'm iffy on that. Maybe, maybe not, but we will snag this. All right, so I was doing a quick scan through all of these, and they're mostly just DVD and Blu-ray players. Nothing really interesting, but this guy was sitting right in front. It is a Canon Sure Shot 76 Zoom, and it just looks like an old film camera, but these things hold some value. Five dollars is the buy cost on that and take a look at the solds. I already pulled the solds up on eBay and you guys can see There we go on the 19th. Today is the 20th uh, $59 27 40 13 40 30 so that's solid for five dollars. We will stick that in the cart and uh, Keep looking, but hey, we found another Sony thing here a cool little Sony printer. Let's look that up, picture station. So this is interesting, that's Sony thing right there. You could take a look, oh, I'm low on battery. Uh, the rank's really high, it sells for good money, but it doesn't sell very often. So I'm gonna leave it, cause it's just gonna sit forever before it even possibly sells. So, you know what, I'm okay with that. We already have a few big things in the cart. I'm seeing if there's any other cool electronics. I do really well with these. Eight dollars though, uh, these little dream machines. They sell for like 30-ish, but I don't wanna spend eight on it. If it was five, that's kind of my max on those. Um, there's another Sony Blu-ray player. Blu-ray players aren't usually worth much at all, sadly. It's down here, an OfficeJet Pro. I mean, these can be good. We have a little OfficeJet printer. I already have a few printers at the house though. PhotoSmart Plus. Uh, I, I can't, even though, even if they're worth money, I can't pick them up because I have too many at the house that need to be listed. Now this is cool. It's a light up sign for Drury's Beer. It's a little chipped on the bottom. It's from 1976. This is sweet. Let's go plug it in. See if it turns on. Because this could be really fun. It is plugged in and take a look. It is lit up. This is really cool. It, now it does have some wear. You can see it's kind of broken up there, so somebody taped it down. Uh, there's a little crack up there, and a little chip down there, but it's not horrible. You see somebody originally wanted 30 for it, and it's uh, six dollars here, so I think I'm gonna get this. And even if I don't end up selling it, I'll hang it up in my bar, and it'll look really cool. So I'm snagging it for six bucks. 
All right, what do you guys think of this? I don't really like to buy clothing too much, but this is cool. It's corduroy and it's kind of quilted on the inside. Uh, there is a Randy name on it, but take a look at this. There's a Lifestar safety helicopter patch on the side. This side has Connecticut firefighter patches and a huge um, one on the back, New Hartford Fire Department. It's really like heavy duty, really nice. It seems vintage. It's a medium uh, trophy jackets made in USA. What do you guys think? I mean, the design is so cool. I, I might get it. I think I'm gonna post it on Instagram real quick and see what people say. This is kind of cool. It's all on glass and it's kind of etched in, I think. Uh, it says Connecticut Huskies. I wish the big logo was in the middle and not the C, but uh, it's $5. It's interesting five dollars though I mean that's a good price but I don't think it's interesting enough I do like that it's glass but uh that C in the middle isn't as cool as the dog head so I think that'll stay behind I think I I don't know what else we have here we got some Robert De Niro and taxi driver talking to me what else do we have the Godfather this is kind of cool let's see a little water damaged on the side there three dollars not bad I don't know I'm, I am kind of interested in that Connecticut Huskies one let me know what you guys think I should have done because this video is coming out well after I left it behind sadly <laughs> that's okay though what else do we got in here this looks cool it's an old mirror oh, that's actually pretty neat this is really cool. This seems pretty vintage. We got a chalkboard that for like a maybe homeschooler or something like that. It just seems really vintage. Look at that. G for gun. I for Indian. Like what? This is uh this is pretty cool. I'm gonna look this up. Cast Toys, I think is the brand. Let's see what we can find. I just the fact that G is for gun really gets me. So I threw this in the car because it's only $5, but I turned around and look at this. A little Game Boy carrier, a heart gold Game Boy carrier for $5? I mean, that seems like a good deal. Uh, it's all tangled up, but I think I'm gonna snag this. This is really, oh yeah, look at that. There's the inside. Okay, yeah, this is cool. This is coming with us. Um, I think I'm buying too much. Oh, it's really tangled up. That's gonna take a second. But uh, my cart is looking pretty full and I got a lot of big things in here. <laughs> um, that chalkboard, I looked up solds, there are none, but it's gotta be from the 50s or 60s. Because nobody teaches G for gun. Like, <laughs> I just don't think so. It's so cool though. Okay, I gotta, uh, I gotta get this out. All right, this is really interesting right here. It's $25 though, but it's a vintage picnic basket. You open up one end and you can see all these old plastic cups in here. They're made in Cleveland, Ohio by Colonial Plastics, along with all the dinner trays down there. And then on the other side, we have a bunch of old paper plates, unused paper plates. Look how old those are with some uh, plate holder tray things. A little fold-out table. Yeah, a little table with legs. This is kind of cool. Um, now, I looked it up, and this is where I'm confused. Because $25 is expensive. But here it is on eBay. One just sold last week for $43 plus $105 shipping. So this person really got like $150 for it. Just the cup sell for $23. Um, that sold for $30. So it's really interesting. 25 seems a little high though. I don't know what's up with that shipping cost thing there. It, I don't know if it's a glitch or if maybe it's sold really local to someone and it's just showing it'd be 105 to ship to me. I don't know. It, it's very interesting. Let's check on things that haven't sold. See what we got going on. Yeah, there's a few things listed. Here, here's the whole set again for 125 any watchers and it's hard to tell but I don't know I mean one did sell for that and then oh there we go 
Never mind. <laughs> it's all good though. I don't think I was gonna grab it anyways because I already have too many big things in my cart. Never mind again, she's not getting it, so <laughs> it's all good. But uh, I am, I think I'm gonna ring out of here. I think we did pretty good.